Hi hey everyone, it's Amanda again. Um, I was out in my car today making different messages that God has really laid on my heart. Um, this one's going to be a little bit quick because I'm, I'm filming several videos of very deep, um, important messages. But this message is about how um, I actually saw hell. Um, I've seen, also seen the devil. And this happened to me, I think, back in 2013. Um, basically, I'll just go ahead and get right into it, tell you guys what I saw. Um, but before I do that, I just want to say, um, please give your heart to Jesus if you haven't done that. And it's very important. Jesus is real. Heaven's real. Hell's real. Jesus died so you can go to heaven. And uh, he wants you to believe on him and let him forgive you of your sins because he's the only one who um, can cover our sins by the blood that he gave when he died for us. So um, he never sinned and that's how he's able to take our place. And he loves, he loves people. He wants, he's not willing that anyone should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So please do that if you've never, don't waste any, a second because people die randomly all the time. Um, it's very sad, you know, to, I can't imagine dying without Jesus um, to live forever in hell. It's just terrible, terrible. Like I can't even put into words how bad so people will never get out of hell so not worth it guys just believe in jesus genuinely from your heart tell god you're sorry for all your sins you want the life he died to give you um that jesus died for you and um read your bible king james bible everyone and original king james version and pray and get to know God and just stick with him. He, he, he said, like, I call you my friend. That's what God said. I will, uh, Jesus said, I will call you my friend. And then you become part of heaven's family. So please do that now. Very serious. Not joking at all. Like, this is strong on my heart right now. Like, give your heart to Jesus. Just don't even second think it. Don't second guess it. Just do it. Because uh, you want to go to heaven. I promise you this is true. And um, anyway, so I saw hell. And I'm going to try to remember it the best I can, but basically I was not living right. I was not living right. This was like 2013. I was born, um, you know, and my mom took us to church when we were babies. Um, if I recall properly, I know we went when we were small children. So I was, um, I was raised in, you know, knowing about Jesus um, a decent amount. And um, then when we were older children, you know, we didn't really go as much, so... I had periods in my life on and off where I was going to church, not going to church. Um, but when I um, got older, I started going again as a grown up and decided to take a personal step toward Jesus uh, after I got invited to church. So I started, um, you know, reading the Bible and everything and praying and trying to churn from my sins because God wants us to churn away from evil and to live holy because he said be ye holy for i am holy and be ye perfect for i am perfect so he wants us to live like him right so anyways that's just true christianity right there and so what happened though was i ended up backsliding like backsliding is a real thing and some kids are playing football on the street but <laughs> that's okay right so um anyways i I started um, backsliding because I started chasing money and um, I started a company it became very very successful and it's okay to have success but I let myself get so busy that my relationship with God was suffering and um, unfortunately but this is part of my story so God was very good to me and had mercy on me and um, he ended up a long story short you know getting me back into his will and um, you know, reminding me, hey, I'm here, you need me. And I decided to, I need to keep going with Jesus this time. I should have always done that. But, um, so when you, but the prodigal child, that story's in the Bible, people, you know, um, people go away from God. Please don't, not worth it. Don't want to backslide. Um, and end up going to hell. So stay with Jesus. All right. But anyways, so I wasn't living right. And you know, uh, very unhappy, not sleeping right, um, just everything. I was getting very depressed. And really it was because I wasn't keeping up on my relationship with God properly. So um, I started really feeling spiritually weak and just very destroyed feeling. And one night I, God gave me a vision and I was basically 
in his hand. It felt like I was in this huge hand. And I was terrified, you guys. I was like, literally, I was like awake but seeing this. So I was shaking, like, like literally a shaking like a leaf, like head to toe. I was terrified. I felt like this hand of God was just going to let me just drop. Um, and just like, I felt like it was judgment time. Like I was just going to go right to hell. Like that's how it felt to me and what I was seeing. So in this vision, I saw hell. I saw flames. Um, I saw like the borders of hell and stuff. Um, but I remained in God's hand. Um, so I wanted just to share with you guys how terrifying it was. And I thought, I thought a hundred percent that my life was basically done for, um, I felt like I was just like literally it was time to go to hell. Like that's how scary this was and how it felt to me. And all and I my mom saw me scared. She was actually sitting by the bed um and turned a fan on for me. I thought I'm just going to I'm just about to die. And this is it. Like I'm destroyed. Like I like I haven't been living right. God I deserve to go to hell. I'm about to go to hell. This is all real to me. And, but God is actually showing me a vision. And all I could get out, out loud and in the vision, like it was like happening at the same time, was it was like a whimper, like, but God, you said with you, all things are possible. And when I said that, the whole vision just disappeared. And there was just this peace and calm surrounding me. And I just knew that God had just decided to have mercy on me. Um, but I'm not quite sure. Like, I know he was telling me, like, he was, oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. He was also showing me sins and things that he didn't want me to do anymore. Um, things that he was upset about in these hell vision scenes, okay? So God decided to have mercy on me, long story short. Um, but it was absolutely terrifying. It was the most I have no hope feeling when I saw hell um, when I was in God's hands so remember the Bible says don't fear man fear the one who who can who has the power to destroy destroy sorry both soul and body in hell let's try and get the wording right so let's fear God because he has the power to destroy um, us here and to let us go to hell if we're not living right and in Christ Jesus so we have to have Jesus uh, I just want to share that with you guys. Since then, um, a lot has happened in my life. God has really, um, you know, helped me to grow. Um, yeah, but He's helped me my roots to grow deep. He's given me such a fertile soil in my heart. I had to liter literally pray to God, like, please help me love you. Um, please help me love you, like, with all my heart. And um, so yeah, be obsessed with Jesus, like be zealous for Christ. Like that's called being on fire. That's when Jesus said, love God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. That's what that is. And that's, that's what it, being a really good, um, on fire Christian means. So anyways, I love you guys. Um, hell is real. Don't have to go there. Good news, everybody. Jesus made the way just walk close with him. And I love you guys, and please subscribe, check out my other videos. Um, I'm posting several today, um, but I, I have felt for a while I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, but I just felt like today was the day to do it. So, all right, I love you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.